Oh my god. Hey guys, it's Pope. Today I want to revisit the whole plan that I have been putting in place for my dieting and talk a little bit about how I'm going to cut for the Arnold and some changes I've made with my diet. My original plan when I started seriously dieting again, um, the video I uploaded two months ago, was that I was going to do a, like a mini cut and then reverse diet, trying to maintain weight as close to 63 as possible. As soon as I started training with my new cycle for the Arnold, my weight fell off of me super fast and I got to 63 like right away and that's too light during a very high volume phase of training. So I had to kind of reevaluate what all I was doing and that's why I haven't done an update lately. So when my weight dropped down super fast, I had to incorporate more calories into my diet and I had to do it kind of fast. And it was kind of a gray area for me not having ever eaten this much since I've been a weightlifter. As soon as I started tracking my macros again after taking a break for quite a while and sitting heavier for a while, my body responded very quickly and my body was responding really well to the type of training I was doing. Colin mapped out a really awesome game plan for the Arnold for me. I'm really happy with the progress I've been making. So I started training for the Arnold 12 weeks out and we took the first four weeks and did a solid back squat, intensive leg strength gaining block. So I did four weeks of 10 reps on the back squat. I was doing two days of 10s of back squat and one day of front squat six reps. So tons of volume on squats. My classic lifts of snatch clean and jerk were more conditioning workouts and the weight on the bar was not very heavy, just lots of reps, lots of timed interval rest work, just getting myself back in shape while I was really focused on the leg strength gains. After the first week of high volume training with all the squats and my workouts being super long and tons of reps, I increased my calories all the way up to 2300. My metabolism has been pretty slow to recover from all the cuts that I made the one year that I competed at 58, a full weight class lower than what I am now, 12 pounds lighter than how I sit now. And I've never been able to eat over 2000 calories, so to bump it up that high was a little bit scary, but I could just tell that my body needed much more calories, had a much higher energy demand to keep up with the training. I was eating well over 300 carbs. It was blissful. So I decided to change my approach from reverse dieting to maintain 63 to completely flip it and start at these high calories that my body was demanding and then we're going to slowly cut back as the volume decreases. So my second part of my 12 week block has been reduced to fives on the back squat. So I've been able to bring my calories down a notch now to like 2000 to 2100 and I'm maintaining right at about 65 kilos, which is perfect. Uh, two kilos over my competition weigh-in. I'm going to do some video footage of where my physique is at now and take some new measurements and compare them to how I was sitting two months ago when I was weighing about 66, but feeling much different than my composition feels now. I have definitely added muscle and definitely leaned out and just in much better shape as an athlete now. maybe 28 and a quarter, like in between those two. Two months ago I was 28 and a half, so waist has stayed the same, if not gone down a little. And it's the middle of the day, so that's not too accurate this time, but at least it hasn't gone up at all. And if anything, it's a little bit down. And for the quad. Oh my God. <laughs> the last video I said that I had 32 inch quads and it basically made that whole video so stupid because <laughs> I meant 22 inch. Obviously I don't have 32 inch quads. <laughs> I wish. Be, be clean and jerk, 300 pounds. <laughs> 24. <laughs> so I've gained a full inch and a half on my quads in two months. So that's huge progress. And that would explain why my squats are going up so much. 
Excited to try a new five rep max this week when I'm in New York. Really hoping to push that five rep max to 130. I'm gonna load up 130. I know I can do it. So tons of progress on my composition. Really excited about that and the dedication to my diet is showing in my training. It's such a big part of athletics and just fitness in general and it gets overlooked a lot and you can't progress with strength training without having your diet dialed in as well. You can, but not as fast and not as well. I'm so excited. I haven't felt this good about training and composition and just all the work I'm putting in at once in a long time. So this is great. So my plan moving forward when these fives on squats drop down and I'm getting more into singles on the classic lifts on snatch and clean and jerk, I'm going to reduce my calories again probably to maybe 1900 and try to get my body weight down to 64 and just have that one kilo left for some water manipulation for the weigh-in at the Arnold. Right now I am sitting five weeks out and like I said feeling really good about my training and I'm excited to compete again. I am pretty confident in putting up a new PR total. I would be really surprised if I do not do that. And I'm really looking forward to lifting with my team, too. A bunch of Ronin weightlifting team members are competing at the Arnold, and it's going to be tons of fun. And I hope to see all of you guys there. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. If you are in need of flexible dieting coaching, that is what I do as a profession. You can hit me up on my website, barbellsandbows.net, or send me an email, kpope at barbellsandbows.net, if you have any questions about the program. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, pretty excited. I am going to be traveling to New York City this weekend, working with Universal, doing some filming, and then heading over to Colorado Springs for training with Colin. So I've got tons of fun travel vlogs coming up. I'm really happy. Life has made a big turn already in, in 2018. This little monkey is helping. <laughs>